Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Kushner, and I want to show you titles in iMovie. So if I open up my iMovie here, and I've already got my movie inside, I can click the edit bar. Um, you can see I've already put my sound, and you can see the sound here and the sound here. And I want to add a title. So the thing is, when I click on my clip and I click titles, I can click here and it's going to appear. The problem is I don't want it to overlap what I've got in our movie. So what I would recommend to do, and you've got a couple choices here, um, decide what you want. Do you want to take a picture uh, from your movie and put a title on that? Or do you just want it to be like a black screen with your words? If that's what you're looking for, I'm just going to take a screenshot right now. And I can drag the corners just to have a black screen. And then I will say done, save to photos. And what I'm going to do is bring that in. So now I can go up to my top, see I have media over here, plus and I click media and I'm going to go to my photos and I'm going to grab all click on that black screen and plus and plus and now I've got this area where the black is and now I can go in and add my title and there's a lot of different effects um, so you should be able to double click on it and write what you want to say and then the other thing that's really cool about this is that oops when you click on it you can change the font so there's all these different styles here um, so pick something that goes with the mood of your movie, kind of see how they look. And then the other thing that you're going to do is change the color over here. So make it again, that's really hard to read, right? But if I pick one of these lighter colors, it's a lot easier to read. So pick something easy to read. Um, and there's, you know, you can pick like that, or you can, you know, change it like this. All right, and then the other thing, these three dots is if you want a shadow or not. Um, there's different styles if you want it to go on the bottom. And uh, if you want it all uppercase or you want lowercase, this is asking do I want it to be for the full clip or not. And right now I can do it for the full clip, that's fine. And should be able to hold down and click on it. There we go, so if I hold it, I get an edit button. And now I can go ahead and add the title. So um, I want to talk about what's happening. And so I'm going to say like slide because I'm sliding from one side to other. And I'll press done like that. And then what I can do if I click on this, um, I can actually do the same thing at the end. So I could put like a credit scene. And I'm going to grab it. And now I can go ahead and add um, a guy like this one actually for the credits. And again, I can change my color so it's the same, my font style, right? So um, I would pick the same things each time if you can. And pick my blue color here. Something like that. And for the full clip, like that. that looks good. And then I'm good there. So I can click off of it, and then when I hold down and I say edit, um, I'm actually going to edit the top one here. So I will say created by, and this is the part where you can put your name. So created by, and then I can hold and get edit, and I'll put my name. This is Kushner. When you add your name, don't put your last name. You can do like, um, you know, Adam A. Oops. There we go. And I click done. And there we go. So now when it plays. Okay, and you saw it didn't play for the whole clip, so I need to change that. Full clip duration. There we go. Let's try it again. And if it goes on for too long, I could actually make it shorter. I only need my credits to be like maybe 10 seconds, right? All right. And then when you're done, you can click the done button. And here's a box with an arrow and save your video. And you can go ahead and turn it in from the camera roll. Have fun working on 